Hi, and welcome to Don't Be Dumb. I'm Josh Clark. Have you ever talked to a bunch of different people with colds and the flu, and they all say different things about whether they're contagious or not? Well, most of those people are dummies who don't know what they're talking about. You should listen to me, because I will tell you straight up what's true. See, when you become infected by a cold or a flu virus, it enters a few of your cells and uses your cell's own processes to replicate itself. This is called the incubation period. After enough copies of this virus are made, the cell is overwhelmed and it blows up and the viruses are released throughout the body to infect other cells. This is when the contagion period starts. During this contagion period, all of the virus replicants are spreading throughout your body, infecting other cells. And those cells can be transferred from you to somebody else, like through your spit, or your sneezes, or your mucus. That's what makes you contagious. The incubation period lasts for a couple of days, and then when your cells erupt and you become contagious, you can be that way for up to a day before your symptoms show up. So you're contagious for a full day before you know you're sick, and then you stay contagious for several days after that. With the flu, you're contagious from the day before you show symptoms for about five to seven more days into the sickness. With a cold, you're contagious the day before up to about four days into the sickness. So the next time somebody is sick and they give you some jibber jabber about not being contagious, you set them straight and tell them Josh sent you. Thanks for joining me. Do you have a suggestion for an episode of Don't Be Dumb? Leave it in the comments below. You can also like this video or subscribe or share it. I don't care. <laughs>